Blue Summit, which happens every couple of years, and we're up to number seven, um, does have a really important effect on the blues scene nationally and internationally. You get to hang out with all the blues people, not just the artists, but also the promoters, also the people who write about it, the people who think about it, and a lot of the fans. It's a fantastic way to network with, in the industry, people from not just Canada, but people from Europe. We get a chance to speak about what's important to educate ourselves in ways that we might not have thought we needed to be educated, whether it be about how to get into festivals or, or how to get record play or, or how things are changing within the blues world. I think there's always a great array of, of expertise. Delegates come from across Canada, from Europe, from the States to scout out Canadian blues talent. They hear Canadian musicians, they are usually impressed as hell and go away hopefully saying these are good artists let's work with them. An artist that comes to the Blues Summit is going to meet enough folks uh, that are hiring that he could conceivably uh, book an entire uh, summer of gigs. As a matter of fact I'm driving to West Virginia for one of the biggest festivals tomorrow and it was at the Blues Summit that Bruce Wheeler saw us and right after the show, he just came up, shook my hand and said, I'm hiring you. You know, if you're playing in a club down on Queen Street on Friday night, these people aren't necessarily going to come out and see us play. But having uh, playing at the Blues Summit, they'll all be there. And the reality of it is it does actually connect you with people, and it's done a world of good for us, for sure, especially as a newer band coming up. Um, plus, you all get to hang out after, which is always good time.